Good morning, Mexican food fans. How are you today? If you're good, you're gonna be even better. And if you're bad, you're gonna be good because today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of your Mexican food favorites at home, beef fajitas. You think, I can't make fajitas at home? You're wrong, I'm gonna show you how. I'm starting with three quarters of a pound of top round. You can use any steak and in fact, skirt steak, even better. I'm gonna squeeze about a quarter cup of lime juice over the top. I'm just making a really quick marinade. It only needs to marinate for about one hour and a tablespoon of soy sauce. I know that soy sauce probably doesn't seem very Mexican to you, but it gives a really nice underbody and depth of flavor that is unparalleled. So just try it before you knock it. Turn everything over. I'm just sort of coating everything and then it gets marinated for one hour in the refrigerator. Cover it up, plastic wrap. If you wanted to speed things up, you could probably do this at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Now for the sizzling part. You know that fajitas always have to have a sizzling component, right? Well, the sizzling component is cooking it in a cast iron skillet. It will simulate the sizzling platter that you get at the Mexican restaurants to a T. Once it's marinated, you just wanna make sure that you pat it dry because you don't wanna put wet steak into your pan. It won't cook nicely. Make sure they're really, really dry because you wanna make sure that they get nice and brown, right? Add a little bit of oil, just a tiny bit. In a cast iron skillet, it's practically non-stick, so you really don't need a lot. Heat your pan, medium-high heat. If you want them super low fat, which I don't really understand why you would, you could add a teaspoon. Put your steak in your pan and let it sizzle up. You wanna cook it till it's medium rare. I'm gonna season mine, even though there's soy sauce on there, I feel like I could use a little bit of salt. While these are cooking, you can get your onions and peppers ready. I have a white onion here. You could totally use a yellow onion. I am not gonna tell, but it's a nice large white onion. Basically fajitas, peppers, onions, and steak all wrapped up in a delicious, delicious tortilla, right? It's actually really easy, right? I guess you don't really think about it when you go out to restaurants and you think things are hard, but really they're not. Or maybe you don't think it's hard. Maybe you're like, Sarah, what are you talking about? It's not hard. Who knows? These just need to be sliced. I'm keeping an eye on my steak while I'm doing this because I, in my bones, I'm starting to feel like it must be getting ready to turn because I can feel those kinds of things in my bones. Can't you? <laughs> turn them over and you just really want to cook them till they're medium rare. I mean, you might want them well done. You can cook them till they're well done. I want to cook it till medium rare. So I only need another minute or two because I've cooked it maybe a minute too long on the first side. Let's not call it burnt, let's call it a really, really nice char, shall we? Time to take the steak out, put it on a clean tray and just let it rest. I'm gonna turn my pan off for just a sec and cut up my pepper and then I'll come back. I slightly mistimed this, it happens sometimes. It happens to you too, I bet. All right peppers now. These are pretty big bell peppers. You can use red or green. I'm gonna use red because, well, they're prettier and it's what I could find. So cut them up into strips. I like to cut down around the seeds to remove them. Just nice strips. Oh, my knife is so sharp today. Super happy about that. It was kind of dull yesterday. <laughs> it's like cutting soft butter with a really sharp knife. <laughs> Starting to look like fajitas now, huh? And to finish for serving, you need one tomato chopped. Do you ever feel like sometimes you cut up your vegetable and you're like, this cannot be the size vegetable that they were talking about in the recipe? I feel like that right now with my onions and peppers, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's saute. Let's sear, it's like more than saute. It's much stronger because we're in a cast iron skillet and we want a lot of char on this baby. I got plenty of char on the steak. <laughs> I know I can do it for the veg. I know that the recipe doesn't call for it. I'm adding another, let's say two teaspoons of oil. Let it get really hot. Now you can add your onions. Everything goes in at once. Ah, oh, it got nice and hot. That makes me happy. So the peppers and the onions all go in together. And I'm adding a crushed clove of garlic. Add that in just for a little bit of extra flavor. Stir this around. The great thing about cast iron is it really retains heat extra, extra well. It's also really good for stir frying. It simulates like a restaurant walk more than even a home walk does. Just keep it on really high heat. Don't be afraid because 
I feel like the thing about fajitas in restaurants is it comes on that sizzling platter, right? So you want this really, really sizzly. I'm gonna season it now. I've been told I have a heavy hand with salt. Somebody said that the other day in the comments. I can't help it, I like the salt. Makes food taste good. This needs to be finished with a little bit of lime juice. So I'm gonna get my lime ready in preparation. Just a little bit of cilantro too, because why not? Because I love it. You can leave it out if you don't like it. That's for you, Dad. I don't even know if I was supposed to chop this, but I'm just doing it. I think it's ready. I think we're ready to serve, right? Taking my lime with me. Give it a little squeeze of lime. Watch it because sometimes when you add moisture to a hot pan, the steam will burn you. I've learned the hard way, believe me. Give it a little stir and dinner is served. You can bring this to the table just like this in a nice big skillet, all sizzly, but you have to cut up your steak. So I'm gonna take my steak, add the juices that accumulated on the plate to my pan, cause flavor, you don't wanna lose out on that, right? And then it just gets cut up and then you can stir it all in together. You can turn your pan off now so it doesn't cook anymore. Cut up the steak. You can put it back into the pan later if you want to. And save that. So just cut up your steak. Nice thin slices of steak. This is some really lean beef, so you don't want to overcook it or it'll be really, really dry. Are you getting hungry yet? I know you are. You want to know how I know? Because I'm hungry. The smells are enticing. All right, now I get to eat. Maybe add the steak. Mexican at home? Why not? Stir it around. I have some tortillas that I've already heated up. They're flour tortillas, which is classic for a fajita. A couple of flour tortillas. These I've already heated up. Pile on the veggies in the steak. I say better. Better than the Mexican restaurant, because you made it yourself. How about a little bit of garnish? Cilantro, the cilantro, tomato. It's festive. It's beautiful, it's festive and fresh. It's not completely, completely authentic, but it's delicious and it's far less expensive than going out. And you can make it in your own home. And I think you should. And you'll do it because I said so, right? <laughs> Listen, I don't claim to be authentic. I just make good food. 